Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at simultaneous equations and solving them using basic elimination. Now this is going to be a, a series of four, four videos um, just showing you guys different styles of um, solving simultaneous equations. Alright, so the first type of questions. Uh, now what's, what's the point of simultaneous equations is that um, you actually have two unknowns and two equations. All right, now normally you would have dealt with linear equations where you have one unknown and you have one equation where you um, rearrange uh, making x the subject and solving for uh, what x is. Now, with simultaneous equations, uh, especially with two unknowns, you need two equations like in this case. So the first thing I was going to talk to you guys about is elimination. So this is where we eliminate one of the variables. Now there's uh, a few th varieties of elimination that's, that I'm going to show you, but the first one is this one here. So right now you've got this equation x plus y equals 10 and x minus y equals 4. Now what you'll notice is that the coefficients, the coefficients of x is 1 and the coefficients of y is also 1. All right. So what you can do in this case is you can actually, um, if you add the two equations, so almost uh, treat it like this, you know, um, I want you guys to add the x's, all right, then I want you guys to add the y's, and then finally adding the numbers. Okay, so if I add 1x plus 1x, I'm going to get 2x. If I add 1y minus 1y, I'm actually going to get 0. All right, um, yeah, and 0y, so just leave it empty as it is. And then 10 plus 4 equals 14. So what I've actually done is by adding these two equations, I have eliminated uh, the variable y, and I now have an equation that says 2x equals 14, which means x is equal to 14 divided by 2, and x is equal to 7. Now once I have x equals to 7, I can take the 7 and substitute it in either equation, all right? So I could have substituted in the first equation, where it says x plus y equals to 10, or the second equation, which says x minus y equals to 4. All right, I can choose whichever one you want um, and substitute it and figure out what y is. So since x is equal to 7, I got 7 plus y equals 10. So y is equal to 10 minus 7 and y is equal to 3. Meanwhile, on the other hand, I've got um, 7 minus y equals 4, negative y equals 4 minus 7, negative y equals negative 3, therefore y is equal to negative 3 divided by negative 1, which is positive 3. And as you can see, both sides, you get the same answer. Okay, one more example. All right, guys, and in this example, what we're going to do is um, we are going to do elimination again. But in the last one, we actually added the two equations. And in this one, you'll notice that the two coefficients of x are 1, therefore subtracting it would be the best option in this case. All right, so with subtracting, just be careful with, um, with the negative in front and the negative here with 2y, and I'll show you why. So first up, um, I'm going to do 1x minus 1x. 1x minus 1x is 0, so I don't really need to worry about it. Next I have is negative 6y, I'm going to write it here on the side, negative 6y minus negative 2y. So it's going to be negative 6y plus 2y, which equals to negative 4y. So that negative 4y is what's going to be here. And finally, I've got to do 16 minus 32. 16 minus 32 is going to equal negative 16. So now I have my equation, negative 4y is equal to minus 16, therefore y is equal to negative 16 divided by negative 4, which means 
y is equal to positive 4. So now I need to substitute in either equation and figure out what x is. So I'm going to choose the uh, second equation there because the second equation is 1x minus 2y equals 32. So x minus 2 times 4 equals 32. x minus 8 equals 32. And therefore x is equal to 32 plus 8, which means x is equal to 40. So my two answers for the solution are x is equal to 40 and y is equal to 4. Now a good thing to do is always check your answer with um, the equation that you did not sub, uh, substitute with. So uh, I didn't actually substitute with the first equation, which was x minus 6y equals 16. And if I substitute 40 and 4, 40 minus 6 times 4 should equal to 16. I've got 40 minus 24 equals 16, and then 16 equals 16. And that's how I know I've got the uh, correct two values for x and y. Cool. That's it for this session, guys. Any questions, pop it in the comments. Yeah. Thank you for watching.